Hi, Prentice here from Projects by Night, and we have an off-grid pole barn house, and it's off-grid since it's solar powered. People keep asking about our system, so we're going to kind of show you what we have made. Didn't really know anything about solar. This is the first one we've done, so it was kind of an experiment. So there's two sets, nine on each set, nine 240 watt panels. I took some boat trailers, made some channel, and just bolted the panels straight down to the to the trailer so I can kind of mess with moving them and the angles and direction depending on the time of year and so we may end up leaving them this way it's actually worked very well so they're on an 8 gauge wire that runs from here into the shop part we'll go in and we'll show you what we've got going on in there alright guys so this is our power room this is where we're taking sun and turning it into electricity so these are the wires that come in from outside these are charge controllers. We went with the Midnight Classic brand. From what we could tell, they were good. So it runs from these, one set of panels per one. Then it runs down to the batteries. Then it runs back up to the inverters, and we have two. We bought this 2,000 watt, and it ended up not being quite big enough for some things. So we added another one, a secondary, I would say, not the primary, but it's got a bigger load. It's a 3,000 with a 6,000 peak. So it does everything we need it to do. And then when we're out of town, we've got this little contraption that we use. And what it does is you can adjust the voltage inside. You can, the time delay on it, and you can also adjust the actual voltage. I have it where it comes on at 28 volts and cuts off at 25. So it basically only works when it's sunny. It uses very little of the battery load. So that way, when we're gone, we can leave the air conditioner on and it won't run our batteries dead. This little contraption... You run just the air on that one. Right. We'll just run just the air. That way, when it turns the air off, everything else is still on. So, the rest of the lights, power, whatever will work. Then, this little contraption, we have a little bit of stuff that's still 12 volt. So, this runs our... It's just a converter from 110 down to 12 volt. Our original battery bank was 12 volt. But our refrigerator was 24 volt, so we ended up switching to a 24 volt, which from what I understand, the higher the voltage battery, the better. And so I put plugs on everything. So like, now with the new battery bank, we really don't have to do it, but this plug comes straight off the generator. So I can plug anything I want directly into the generator if we need to. Um, How often do you have to use that? We, don't, we haven't used it at all, really, since we got the new battery bank. So we'll see, and it's only in the summer. The rest of the year we have way, way more power than we need. Before we started running the air conditioner, we were only using four solar panels for the whole house. So all that extra is basically for the air conditioner. This is just a normal panel box, that's 110. I've got a little bit of stuff in this panel box that's 12 volt um, that we still haven't, that we, that we left that way. So this is our system. Now let me show you kind of what we're doing, our load is. So we have a wood burning boiler. So we have the, the power for this pump. That's pretty much it. The stove itself is all manual. It has no electricity on it. Then we have just like normal lights in the shop and we have another woodworking shop with lights in it and a power tools. But those I would use more when it's sunny, not as much at night. And then, so in here we just have like normal conventional lights. Now I said something earlier about the refrigerator. We have this refrigerator is a 24 volt and it's very efficient compared to like a normal household refrigerator. We started with our big one and it pulled too much power. Um, this dishwasher which we run basically every day. Our stove is gas which is a big one because you'll use a lot of electricity on a electric stove. And then our water heater is propane, and our clothes dryer, it's 110 electric with the propane for the heat element. And then the washing machine is a propane, I mean, is 110. Um, air conditioner, we have a mini split, um, and it's set up on a timer. It can run, it runs every day, or when we leave, we just have it plugged in to that voltage regulator. And then we also, if it's really hot, we'll have an additional window unit we'll put in upstairs. We're going to put another mini split, but for now, this has worked pretty good. So we have like floodlights outside, like big LED floodlights that, you know, we pretty much do what we would have in the house before. 
Um, microwave, we have a microwave in the pantry. We don't run it, you know, all the time, but you can run it when you need to. And with the new battery bank, it's made a big difference. So now we can actually use stuff at night as well. I've left the air conditioner on all night before with, a, you know, forgot and left the little one on and it was still fine. It was like 24 seven the next day after it ran all night. So it's been holding up pretty good. We have exhaust fans, our 12 volt. So like we have one for the stove. I made a hood with an exhaust out and it's just a 12 volt blower. Um, same for the bathrooms. Outside we've got like porch lights and flood lights. The like I'm trying to think what I'm forgetting. I know I'm forgetting something. And somebody asked me. Yep, we have Christmas lights. It's already up on a timer. So You're you know, on Christmas. Yeah. So it's, it's always party time here. So I don't know. I feel like I'm probably leaving some stuff out, but I feel like we pretty much the big consumers of electricity, which would be your stove, water heater, and clothes dryer, we're running on propane. Um, our heat source is, the mini split's also a heat source, but we actually don't really use it much. Once we fire up the boiler, the, the heat's up the floors, and then that's pretty much all we'll use. Sometimes, you know, like early fall, late spring, we can turn the mini split on if it's a little bit of a cool morning once the boiler's shut down. But, I mean, it's kind of a basic. We'll give you some of the actual model numbers of the stuff we've used on the solar system, and that way you can kind of see what we've used. I found some Amish guys that were doing solar and kind of talked to them and figured out stuff that they were using. That's kind of how I came up with the stuff that I'm using because I know they're going to use stuff that's good mm -hmm. and it's affordable and so that's kind of where we got into it. So this is the 2000 watt inverter, the original one we got and it's it has worked really good. It's a very good inverter but I think you can get the same brand now in a 3000 watt which I would advise if you're going to run the same size system we're going to run and there's the model number on that one. So this is the Midnight Classic charge controller that we used, and it's the 200 series, and I don't know if you can zoom in enough to see that. That's the model number on it. And this is the other inverter, which if you get a 3000, you won't need another inverter, but we just ordered this one actually off of Amazon, and it's actually done pretty good. So that's the three to 6,000. It's our little blower motor fans that we're using um, and these are 12 volt you can also get them in 24 volt um, it's just like an inline fan for we're using them for like exhaust fans and then this actually one thing I didn't mention is we have a water pump this is our water pump that we're using to feed the whole house so we have a water catchment system and then from the tank to the house this is what we're pumping it with same thing it's not much power so these are the batteries that we went with the guys said they're having really good luck with them. They are pretty affordable for what they were, um, and they are working really good. And we had their 12 volt batteries, and we got them linked together in a series of 24 volt. So that's what we're that's what we're running on. We have eight of those in total. So we're gonna list these items in the description below. And I'm hoping I remembered everything. Probably forgot something. Feel free to comment below, and let me know what you think. Hopefully. This is helpful for you.